Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Okay, so today we're going to speak some things about Damodar Lila for the suspicious month of Kartik. So Damada Lila is uh, has there are many points to the Damada Lila, many meanings or lessons to be learned from the Damada Lila. We can see it, it's like a, uh, there are like different layers to the pastime of Krishna. There are different layers. On the, on the topmost, on the outermost layer, we just see it as a story and it's, it's very nice, very sweet. Then you've got like a middle layer where we can get more understanding of the pastime and meanings from it. But on the on the very center of the layer, the innermost part, we get practical application of this pastime. So in Vrindavan, everyone loves Krishna, but they love him in a very special way. Yeah, they don't think of him, they don't think of him as God, but they think of him as their, uh, in some kind of friend or lover or child. So even when Krishna tries to tell the devotees that he's God, they, they don't take him very seriously. Because they just they just think of him as their friend or as their as their as a child or as their lover. So if they if they think of him as God or as a controller, then it, it's not the same mood. It's a different a different kind of it's it's not so much fun for them, not so much pleasure. Yeah, 
So one day Krishna was playing in the forest with all of his friends. And the game they liked to play most, they liked to play was they liked to wrestle with each other. So they made two teams and they, and each member of the what, different teams they had an opponent they had to fight with one another. So the cowherd boy named Sri Dham, he was chosen to fight with Krishna. Sri Dham was to fight Krishna. Uh, Sri Dham was Krishna fight. So Krishna want, he wanted to put a bit of fear into Sri Dham. So he, he, he asked Sri Dham a question. So Sri Dham said to Krishna, Do you know who I am? So Sri Dham smiled and he said, He said, In the whole universe, if there is anyone who knows Krishna the most, I do. So Krishna didn't take him seriously, but Krishna said to him, he said, I am the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So all the cowherd boys, they all laughed and giggled when they heard Krishna say this. So Krishna thought, okay, then I will have to show them that I am actually, I will prove it to them that I am actually the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And Krishna said, Don't you know I killed Putana when I was only six day old baby? And then I killed the Agasura demon. At that time I saved all the cowherd boys who had entered into the Agasura's mouth. I saved all of you. And then Krishna says, and everybody in Vrindavan, they saw I picked up the Govardhan hill on my little finger of my left hand and held it for seven days and seven nights. So when Krishna said all this, all the cowherd boys, they laughed and they began to roll on the ground and they were laughing. <laughs> they did not take Krishna seriously. And all the 
般宣言之后，就倒在地上打起滚儿，一边一边打滚儿一边开始大笑。他们根本就把 Krishna 的话当在当成真话。So Sri Ram, Sri Ram said to Krishna, he said, "Oh Supreme Lord, let me explain to you what actually happened." Don't you know when that Putana witch kidnapped you? It was Mother Yashoda who requested many brahmanas to recite mantras to save you. It was the power of the Brahmanas' mantras that killed Putana, not you. And let me tell you what happened when Agasura was killed. I will tell you, before you entered Agasura's mouth, all of us were already inside his mouth. And we had already cut him up, we had already sliced him up. You didn't kill him. You entered after everything was already done, but you're taking. You want to take the credit. And when Govardhan Hill, Govardhan Hill, you are saying you held it up. No, that's not true. What happened was we worshipped the Govardhan Hill, and the Govardhan Hill was so happy that it floated in the air. You only put your finger under the hill and claimed that you were lifting it. So Krishna was really shocked to hear Sri Dham say all these things to defeat him. When Krishna heard Sri Dham this speech, 我倒他的话之后，感到大吃一惊。Krishna appeared to be disturbed. Externally, he looked like he was disturbed, but actually, he was very happy inside. 表面上看 ，Krishna 听完这番话，感到非常的生气，但实际上他内心很快，非常开心。This was exactly what he wanted in Vrindavan. He wanted this kind of love. He didn't want. He doesn't want awe and reverence. He doesn't want a lot of respect. He he gets so much respect and worship everywhere in the universe, but in Vrindavan. He gets a special love. In the whole world, he has received so much respect and reverence. But in Vrindavan, he has received a special love. 
Vrindavan people, they just love Krishna. They don't think that he's God or he's a controller. They just think of him as their friend or as their child or their lover. Sometimes Krishna would show that he's actually God, but just for a very short time. And after he would show that he was God, then he would immediately change back to become the very simple little boy in Vrindavan. One of the examples is when one day Krishna's friends complained to Mother Yashoda that Krishna had been eating mud. So Mother Yashoda wanted to see in Krishna's mouth because Krishna said, No, I haven't. Krishna, Krishna said, Balaram and the other cowherd boys are envious of me. They're, they're complaining about me for no reason. So Mother Yasoda said, okay, then let me see inside your mouth. So when Krishna opened his mouth, Mother Yasoda saw the whole creation inside Krishna's mouth. And she saw within Krishna's mouth the whole village of Vrindavan. And she saw herself looking into Krishna's mouth. But then the next minute, next moment, Krishna changed the scene and all Mother Yashoda could see was just some little bit of dirt in Krishna's mouth. So there's some meaning behind these different pastimes. We have to understand the deep meaning. Just like the purpose of Krishna's coming into the material world, why does Krishna come in this world? We have to understand. So one of the reasons was to take away the burden of all the demons, all the demonic people, kings and different demons who were all present. Krishna wanted to get rid of them from the planet. So when Krishna was five years old, he began to think about the reason why he had come to this planet. 
Krishna 五岁大的时候呢，他就开始考虑，他为什么要来到这个星球 ？He thought, I haven't done much to take away the burden on the earth. There's so many demons still here. 嗯，他在想。Yeah, go ahead. Krishna 五岁大的时候呢，他就想，在铲除恶魔这方面呢，我这个这个工作呢，我做的不是很多。嗯。So, uh, for a young child, the young child likes to get his mother's attention. 的注意。So Krishna did things like that. To get, he likes to get the attention of Mother Yashoda. So Krishna 呢也是这样子，他就想抓住亚述的妈妈的注意力。So when Krishna decided to show the whole creation within his mouth, then this was something, you know, very special. Krishna 呢，决定，嗯，在他的口中呢，展示所有的创造，就这是非常特别的一件事儿。But it was a surprise to Krishna how Mother Yashoda reacted. 这亚述的妈妈的反应呢，却让 Krishna 感到非常的吃惊。But what happened was, Mother Yashoda. She she just became stunned, and and she she understood her child could be the supreme lord. The 真实的情况是，亚述的妈妈当时就呆住，她就想，可能自己的孩子不是至尊主。So she became very respectful when she began to show great awe and reverence to her child, instead of the same love. So Krishna didn't want that kind of awe and reverence. He wanted. The, he liked the pure love of the Vrindavan people. Krishna 可不想要这种敬畏之情，他想要的是 Vrindavan 居民的纯粹的爱。So that's why he took the vision of the universe away from his mouth, and he put it. He, he changed it to something else. 正是因为这个原因呢 ，Krishna 就把他口中的这个 Vishnu 形象呢就拿走了，把它就变成另外一种样子。Yeah, instead of the universe, Mother Yashoda saw dirt in Krishna's mouth. 原先他看到的是整个的宇宙，但后来呢，老师的妈妈只是看见了 Krishna 口中只是有一些土而已。Mm, so this made Mother Yashoda angry, and Krishna enjoys this anger. So to take away all that thought in the mind of Mother Yashoda, Krishna had performed the Damodar Lila. Damodar Lila means Mother Yashoda is going to bind Krishna up with ropes. Damodar's light shining 
Krishna wants to convince her that if she can tie him up with ropes, then he cannot be God. Nobody can tie up God with ordinary ropes. But there were other reasons also. One reason was that Krishna wanted to increase Mother Yashoda's fame. He wanted to make Mother Yashoda very famous. Yeah, the name Yash, Yash means one who gives fame or fame to Krishna. Krishna wants to bring fame to Mother Yashoda. Usually festivals are only for one day. But Damodar festival is the only festival celebrated for a whole month. So the full month is dedicated to give fame to Mother Yashoda. So if we give Krishna a little fame, Krishna will bring fame back to us. The greatest fame is the fame of a devotee. And Mother Yashoda is the great, greatest of devotees, very great devotee. So another reason for the Damodar pastime is to show how bhakti is the best, the highest of all processes. Right. In order to get full effect from bhakti, we have to have good sadhana and we need also Krishna's blessings. Other processes, it just depends on the efforts of the person. So when somebody does very good, then they become proud. They think, I'm very great, I'm a great yogi, I'm very powerful. 
当一个人他做了一些成就的时候，他就骄傲起来，就想哦，我太伟大了，我是了不起的。有瑜伽师，我是这么有力量。But with the, with bhakti with devotion, it it doesn't just depend on our own efforts. We need also Krishna's blessing. 对于 bhakti 对于奉爱而言。The devotee has to develop humility to do proper bhakti. If we're not humble, we'll never get Krishna's blessings. Krishna gives his blessings on those who are very meek and humble. Krishna will 祝福那些非常谦卑顺从的人们 So with bhakti, there's a the balance between our own spiritual practice and Krishna's mercy. So. 而 bhakti can never be successful without both of these things. 如果没有缺乏了任何一项 ，bhakti 就不不会成功的。And another the the other reason why Damodar Lila took place was to show the power of the words of a devotee. And to show how the words of the devotee, how they influence Krishna's words, Krishna's decisions, what Krishna does. So Krishna, he went. Out of his way, he did everything he could to make Narada's Narada Muni's words come true. Krishna, 呢，他就特意做做了安排，好让 Narada Muni 的话变成了他的言预言，成为了真实。Narada Muni had spoken words twenty thousand years before when he had cursed the two sons of Kuvera. But Krishna didn't forget Narada Muni's words. Krishna 从来没有忘记拿拉穆尼的话。So the words of ordinary people influence ordinary people's minds. 普通人的嗯话语只能影响普通人的心意。But when a great devotee speaks something. That influences Krishna's mind. So this festival of Damodar shows the power of these two devotees, and how they how they can control Krishna. Yashoda, Mother Yashoda, could tie up Krishna's divine body. Yashoda's mother 捆绑起了 Krishna 的神圣的身体 And Narada Muni could influence Krishna's mind. 而拿拉穆尼竟然影响了 Krishna 的心意 So, if their words can influence Krishna, we should also allow their words to influence us. Let's 
能够影响 Krishna 的话，如果他们他们的话语能够影响 Krishna， 我们也要允许他们的话语影响我们。So Mother Yashoda, she is the wife of Nanda Maharaj, and they have many, many servants and workers. Yashoda Mama 呢是南大大军的妻子，她底下有很多的女仆、仆人，还有一些助手。So Mother Yashoda has a choice: either she can do things herself. Or she can get everything done by other people. She doesn't need to do it. Yashoda's mama, she has a choice. She can either do things herself, or let everything be done by others. So the important thing is to get things done. It doesn't matter who does it, but the main thing is to get things done. 是事情要落实，而不管呃，无论是谁去做。So when you do business, it's like that. But when you do bhakti, it's different. 生意是这种情况，但是 bhakti 却不是这样。With bhakti, the important thing is the 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 consciousness with which things are done. 关键是做事情的时候的直觉。Mm -hmm. And we have to see, we have to understand how much we can do things ourselves rather than get other people to do it. 我们要明白，我们自己在多大程度上能够完完成一件事情。So we learn about this from Mother Yashoda. See, Krishna likes sweets, but Mother Yashoda, she decided to make the sweets herself. She didn't get the maids to do it. She did it all herself. Because Krishna likes sweets, but Mother Yashoda, she didn't get the maids to do it. Because Mother Yashoda, she wants Krishna to get the sweet which is made with love, not just the sweet sugar, but to get the the love, the real devotion with which the sweet is made. Krishna will want that. Yashoda's mother hopes. Krishna 得到的是爱，而不是仅仅的是这个甜糖，这个甜点当中的糖。他希望，因为 Krishna 他真正想要的呢是奉爱。Anybody can make sweets for Krishna, but they don't all have love for Krishna. 人人都可以为 Krishna 做甜甜品，但是他们。So Mother Yashoda doesn't want to just give Krishna food to eat to fill his belly, but she wants to give him the love which he wants. Yashoda Mama, she is not just for filling Krishna's belly; she is for giving Krishna love. Krishna doesn't care just to get food. Krishna wants love. So Mother Yashoda's cooking. Mother Yashoda, she didn't just cook for two hours, but her cooking was it was a meditation which she did the whole day. 亚舒的妈妈做饭可不是两个小时就完事儿了，她是冥想了整整一天。And everything which came into Mother Yashoda's kitchen and went on to Krishna's table, went on to Krishna's plate when he's going to eat, 
It had to be the best, otherwise Mother Yashoda wouldn't let it be given to Krishna. She wants to give the best to Krishna. So she has nine like cows, but she has eight cows who are very special. So these cows, she arranged to give them also very special grass so that they can give the best milk. So there were, she would give she would give the milk of the seven cows. Milk of there were eight special cows and seven of the cows she would take the milk and she would give that milk to the eighth cow. <laughs> so that to take that milk from the eighth cow and use that milk to pr make preparations for Krishna. We can see how much trouble Mother Yashoda took to please Krishna. So this Damodar Lila is the same thing, it's celebrating this, that mood of giving the best to Krishna. And while Mother Yashoda would cook and make the butter, she would always sing songs about Krishna. So her whole day she was Krishna conscious. Sometimes Krishna would be awake and he would be with her, and sometimes Krishna would be asleep. But Mother Yashoda would continue to serve him all the time. She'd be singing songs, chanting the pastimes of Krishna. Sometimes she'd be churning the butter using her hands. And at that time also she'd be singing. So this way her body, mind and words were all in the service of Krishna. So, it's not easy to keep the mind always fixed on Krishna. Mm. 
that sannyasi, he's supposed to use also body, mind and words in the service of Krishna. And to remind them that they have to do that, they, they carry that danda, they have the sannyasi rod, it's called a tree dandi, three rods bound together, represents the body, mind and words in the service of Krishna. So we know it's not easy for sannyasis to do that, but Mother Yashoda, she could do it very nicely. So in Vrindavan, everything has life, everything has consciousness. So everything which Mother Yashoda wore, all of her ornaments, they would also join in the kirtan and they would make nice sounds just to jo go along with the kirtan. Mother Yashoda would have many bangles and earrings and bracelets on anklets, rounded ankles. So they all made sounds and they, the sounds would all be in time with the Hapli Kirtan, with the songs Mother Yashoda sang. So, so Krishna was laying sleeping in the bedroom and Mother Yashoda was singing songs outside. So Krishna got off the bed and he began to crawl towards mother, his mother because he could hear his mother singing songs. So he wants to be with his mother. Just whenever a devotee will sing the names of Krishna, then Krishna will appear. Yeah. Whenever we say Krishna dances on the tongue of the devotee who is chanting. Krishna says, I am not in the spiritual world and I'm not in the hearts of the yogis. He said, I'm wherever my devotee is chanting my holy name. So Krishna came crawling to the kitchen to find Mother Yashoda and Mother Yashoda is singing and with her eyes closed she doesn't see Krishna. Krishna 
But Krishna wants to get his mother's attention. But his mother, she's so absorbed in singing songs, she doesn't notice Krishna there. And so Krishna came forward and he, with one hand, he grabbed the churning rod that she is using to churn the butter. And with his other hand, he grabbed her sari. So Krishna is telling his mother, I know you're doing these things for me, you're making the butter for me, but I want you to take care of me. I don't want you to worry about all these things, other things you're doing for me. Just take care of me directly. So that churning rod which Mother Yashoda was using, that represents the intelligence of the devotee. And the, the process which she's doing, the churning of the milk to make the butter, this is like the process of sadhana, to get studying the scriptures, to understand the real truth. So the same way you churn the, churn the milk, you get yogurt and then it becomes butter. So the same way we study the Vedas and finally we'll, we'll get to understand what is the most important thing and that is the love for Krishna. Right. We turn the turn the yogurt to get the butter and Krishna and that we want to get the the best thing, the essence. What is that essence? So Krishna is saying, I am that essence, I am the important thing. You spend so much time churning the butter, just take care of me. So Krishna has so much love for Mother Yashoda. Just as Mother Yashoda loves Krishna, Krishna also loves Mother Yashoda. He would wake up every day. When he would wake up, as soon as he opens his eyes, he would immediately want to drink milk from his mother's breast. So that morning was Diwali. It's a festival like New Year. Yeah, during this festival we put lights everywhere around the house, around the temple. 
So it's a big festival, everybody celebrates it. So Mother Yashoda was very busy cooking and preparing things. So she was busy in the kitchen and she thought it's too early to wake Krishna up yet. But Mother Yashoda was in the kitchen singing. So her singing woke up Krishna. So Krishna has this habit where as soon as he wakes up, he wants to drink his mother's milk. Without drinking milk, he can't properly wake up. So one of Krishna's names is Atma Rama, which means he taken he can be satisfied in himself. He doesn't need anything to make him complete. He's already complete. We're always trying to become complete, but we're never complete. But Krishna is complete from the very day of his birth. So we we cannot make Krishna complete. He's already complete. But because Krishna loves his devotees so much, he's willing to give up that completeness. Because by giving up that quality, he can experience more of the love of his devotee. So, what he does is Krishna gives up this quality of being Atmarama. He is dependent on Mother Yashoda to give him milk to make him complete. Okay, so maybe we'll stop here. There's a lot, you know, there's a, a lot more we can say. Another time we'll finish. I don't want to go on all the time. Mm -hmm. So we will stop now.
我之前练习了将近四年的昆达利尼瑜伽，这种瑜伽帮助我，帮助了我全身的。有个伟大占星师付费的，说我的星占星象保护神很有力量，同时也有破坏性，怕主，感到怕，所以占星师你我以后变成昆达利尼瑜伽了。我想问咕噜，因为练习了昆达利尼瑜伽之后，我头脑清晰。身体灵活，做事效率高，但是这种瑜伽会提升人的物质欲望吗？我希望得到我的建议指导，并卖您的莲花指。Yes, okay. I already got the translation. I already read that question. So in reply, we say it's certainly possible that we could have more material desires. As a result of this kind of practice, because your body is more healthy, you have more control, you're able to work better. So naturally, we we may increase our material desires. There's a pastime in relation to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. There was one Brahmana, one Brahmana man, who had he had leprosy in his body, and he had there were worms eating his flesh. And when the worm eating his flesh, if one worm fell out from his body, he would pick it up and put it back in his body so it could keep eating his flesh. 主持人念嘛哈，他不有一个消消时光。曾经呢，有一位 Brahmana 的婆罗门，他患上了麻风病，他的躯体上呢有很多的蠕虫。可是每次当他的那个蠕虫从他身体上掉下来之后呢，他又把这个蠕虫捡起来放回他的身体上。还有这样的人放在身体上，掉下来了，你你捡起来。So. Lord Chaitanya came and embraced him and gave him a very healthy body, very healthy, strong body. And so the Brahmana was worried. The Brahmana said, "Now I may get troubled because I." I Now I I can enjoy sense gratification. Now I have the healthy body. It's very easy for me to engage in sense gratification. The Brahmana 就说，呃，现在呢，我可能会有麻烦去享受感官，因为当我身体变得健康强壮的时候，就很容易沉浸、从事感官享乐。So Lord Chaitanya told him. So you have to always chant Hare Krishna, and you have to also preach Krishna consciousness. So in the same way, you somehow you've been doing Kundalini yoga, and your body's become strong and healthy, and your mind is. Better and you're working good, so certainly there's always a tendency for more sense gratification. Your material desires will be much stronger. 同样的，因为现在您的身体变得健康强壮，工作效率也提升了，心意也更加强大了，所以就有这种倾向。
you have to be very careful to chant Hare Krishna and to preach Krishna consciousness. That will protect you. Only Bhakti Yoga can protect you from the material energy. Therefore, you see in the Bhagavad Gita, in the 18th chapter, Krishna tells Arjuna, he said, just give up all of your material duties and take shelter of me. I will protect you. So Krishna has promised he will protect the devotee. You have to take shelter of him. But Kundalini Yoga is not going to protect you. It's only going to increase the power of your senses. The your power of your senses increases means more material desires. So this danger is there, material world, very dangerous place. And when you have the healthy body, then you're, it's more dangerous because you have more desire for sense gratification. So we have to purify that desire by chanting Hare Krishna and by doing devotional service and telling people about Krishna. Hmm. Lord Chaitanya told the Brahmana in Kurmadesh, uh, Kur, uh, Kurma, uh, Kurmadesh, he told, wherever you go, whoever you meet, tell them about Krishna. And Lord Chaitanya told the Brahmana, you should become a spiritual teacher and help people to save them from material energy. So Kundalini Yoga is not going to save people. Kundalini Yoga is not going to take you out of the material world. It's not going to help you develop love for Krishna. So you have to take up Bhakti Yoga. Is it clear? Any other questions? Huh? 
To know your ability, you have to understand how much you can do. You have to gauge yourself. Don't try to do too much. Anyway, Amy, you're not yet initiated, you're a new devotee. So you want to spend more time gradually becoming strong in Krishna consciousness. Don't try to do too much, too quickly. Maybe at the end of your life you can do more. But you're not so old. You're still young, you're not very old, you're retired, but you're not that old. So try to gauge yourself. You have to keep proper time to be able to do everything and not to get too stressed and try to do too much. You got to have time to cook, you got to have time to clean your house, you got to have time, you have to do your laundry, sometimes you need rest. <laughs> so, don't try to do too much. You have to, you have to know your own limits. Everyone is an individual. Some people have a lot of energy, they can do a lot, no problem. And some people can't do so much. But whatever they do, they do it very nicely, they do it with good consciousness. They do it with love for Krishna. Mm. So remember, that's what we want. We want to develop a love for Krishna. Shai Gavanti. Shai Gavanti, that's the 
What they need to do to get Krishna's mercy? Hmm? Huh? To ask, can I get the most mercy from Krishna? Oh, I could get as, the most as, as possible. As soon as possible. And as much mercy as possible, and also deliver the mercy to others. Huh? Yes, if you deliver the mercy to others, then you get more mercy from Krishna. The more you give the mercy, the more you get the mercy. So if you're able to give mercy to others and bring them to Krishna consciousness, certainly Krishna will be very pleased with you. This is, this is stated in the 18th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna says, Nachatas man manushyeshu kaschin me priyakritama. Krishna said, In this world there's no one more dear to me than that one who is giving Krishna consciousness to others. Krishna Hmm. Just like the gopis, the gopis' mood is they want to arrange for Radharani to be with Krishna. But Radharani, her mood, she wants to arrange for the gopis to be with Krishna. So we see, they don't think, I want to enjoy Krishna myself. They think, I want to give Krishna to others. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, she can be initiated, but she has to follow the process. She has to associate with devotees. She has to be recommended by someone. And then she can take shelter. And then after taking shelter, then she may be initiated. Did I answer everything? Yeah, I, I'm about the first 
家电。哎，这是南宫代言的。嗯。对。呃，蒋蒋秀辉是新疆的那个呃，格洛卡瑜伽，蒋蒋秀辉。哦。新疆的那个妈，那个瑜伽老师，他刚才问的就是他妈妈的情况。哦，他的妈妈的情况。嗯。对。嗯。嗯。OK，So、okay, she should she should hear the test. She should take part in the disciple course. She should attend the disciple course and hear hear the lectures. Well, she should hear, and then you know it's not the test, it, it, but it's to help us to understand more. So the, the mother doesn't taboo and she said, ah. Anyway, she can understand. She can hear people talk, and she can understand. Right? She So it <laughs> yeah. Well, we can never become Mother Yashoda, but we can follow in her footsteps and we can learn from her how to become Krishna conscious. Just like Mother Yashoda, she is singing songs when she is cooking for Krishna. She is doing so much, and she is using her hands to cook for Krishna. At the same time, she is singing about Krishna, and her mind also she is remembering Krishna. So we we have to try to follow that kind of mood of Mother Yashoda. Not that we can ever become Mother Yashoda, but we we can become we can become a servant of Mother Yashoda. So we should, we should want that to get the association to follow the example of Mother Yashoda. And just as Mother Yashoda 
loves Krishna and thinks of Krishna as her child, we can also develop that kind of mood towards Krishna. Okay, Shai Gawanti. Well, feeling we, uh, the feeling of love which Krishna has for his devotees. And we see Mother Yashoda uh, the, the feeling of love. You see, that feeling of love which the people of Vrindavan have for Krishna is on a very high level. It is called Raganuga or Ra Raga, Raga Nuga Bhakti and to come to that level first we have to do very good sadhana bhakti. We want to get that kind of love, that spontaneous love. Spontaneous love comes only after we have practiced the regulative principles very carefully. But it's very good for us also to regularly hear about Krishna and his activities with his devotees. So hearing and chanting is always very much powerful, very much recommended for all of us to help us to develop our love for Krishna. Hearing and chanting with great care and attention, with full absorption, controlling our mind. Hare Krishna. Oh, the, the latter part didn't. What's the latter part? The, you, you, you said that uh, carefully listen and hear and chanting very carefully, attentively absorb. Yeah. So we are just listening and chanting is to have I answered? What what we done, 
白什么意思。萨蒂曼，我不太明白他说的什么意思，是种怎样的情感 ？Maybe she's asking, um, if one constantly in remember in remembrance of Damdar's form. So, what kind of、uh, situation if one is situated in that、uh, remembrance?、Uh, and what kind of、uh, mood, emotion that if one can constantly remember of that dark form? Well, we will remember how. Krishna is conquered by pure loving devotion. The the only thing which, you know, because Krishna is the supreme Lord, nothing can bind him up. Only pure devotion. What I spoke about this morning explains the things, the benefits of this pastime. We, we spoke about the power of the words of the pure devotee. And we spoke about the power of bhakti. It's more powerful than any other process. And, and, and the pure love of Mother Yashoda. So these things, these are the what will come in, as we think of this pastime when we see Krishna. Somebody comes to the house. We don't cook meat. We don't cook meat. An, an initiated devotee shouldn't cook meat. Restaurant. Yes. Who? Yoshimaran Yaochu Fangwar. Who is going to go to restaurant? I don't understand. The, the, can can the devotee go to restaurant? Well, devotee doesn't like to go to restaurant to eat. Some guest comes. Better you cook prasadam and give him prasadam at home. But you have to be a good cook. You have to be able to cook very nice, tasty foodstuffs, different varieties.
And there should be bread, there's bread, different breads and cakes and savouries and sweets. Do you know Hayo Ventima Guru Mani. That's not that's not proper to imitate Mother Yashoda. No. You should follow the footsteps of Mother Yashoda. Don't think, don't, don't think of your child as Krishna. Your child is not Krishna. Your child is a, a tiny part of Krishna. It's a, a spirit soul, part and parcel of Krishna, but not Krishna. Yes, you could have a deity of Krishna and treat him as your child. Hmm. So then you have to cook sweets, just like you have a child, you will cook special food for your child, so you cook for the deity and offer to the deity. Mm. So we want to be Krishna's servant, but we want to also follow the example of Mother Yashoda, but not imitate her. It's not imitation. Following in the footsteps is different from imitating. So just because you have a child, you don't think your child's Krishna. But you want your child to be a servant of Krishna. Mm -hmm. You bring up your child to be a nice devotee, to serve Krishna. Mm -hmm. 
去服务 Krishna。Yes， 还有问题吗？下一个是蒋蒋秀辉啊，呃，徐毅，你今天都 ask， 妈妈那边冷，早上洗澡可以放在白天吗？嗯。She's asking that it's cold. The temperature is cold in the place where she, her mother live. Can her mother? Take take bath during the daytime instead of in the morning. Yes. Can. Next question. Next one. Yeah. Sugita Sampadadasi. Invite Guru. Please. 有给学生讲国家放歌国家法坛的老师，控制自己学生不要出去跟其他老师和顾入联谊，甚至阻碍学生找顾入启迪，这种做法对吗 ？There are some, there are some, some, there are someone who teaches students Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita. There is some teacher who teaches student, students Bhagavad Gita, but control the students, prevent them from going to other teachers and associate with guru, even prevent students to take initiation from guru. Is this right? No, no, it's not right. Everyone has free freedom to choose when and from whom they take initiation. So that point is made in the disciple course. It's very clear that everybody has their own choice when and from whom they take initiation. And devotees are encouraged to go and hear. From other different spiritual teachers, and not to just only hear one person, you have to hear from as many different speakers as you can. Try to hear. Don't just only hear from your Diksha Guru. You have to hear from other people. So we 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 don't keep you a prisoner. We don't keep you a prisoner. If you want to hear from other people, you have that. Free will. What's the right behavior? What's the right 
Contact. Contact. Well, the proper thing to do is to take association with other devotees, join the association of other devotees and hear regularly and be guided by them. And they will arrange so that you can meet different spiritual teachers and you can hear from them and inquire from them. Bhakti Yoga, our process begins with hearing. It's very important to hear, to hear regularly and also to ask questions. We're very good, we're very grateful to see, we're very happy to see that so many of you have put questions today. It's very good. Okay, how you went, Tima? Well, Krishna has given you, you, we shouldn't want to give up the body unnaturally, just be patient. We know our body is not eternal. Everybody has to go through the kind of things you're going through just now. It's inevitable with the material body. So just be tolerant and take this opportunity that Krishna is, although you're not able to move around much, still by Krishna's arrangement you're able to hear and you're able to chant. So you continue with your devotional service. We know great devotees, but like Madhavendra Puri, he also was very much in difficulty in in the final in its final stages of his life. But he had a devotee there serving him and the devotee would help him to remember Krishna. 
但是有一个奉献者在他身边服务他，帮助他，恒常的记住 Krishna。So we are more fortunate than Madhavendra Puri because we have this technology, and by technology we are able to hear from so many devotees every day. All day and all night, you can be hearing. Srila Prabhupada also had some difficulties in the final months of his presence in this body. So don't think you're any different from anybody else. Everyone goes through this, these difficulties, physical difficulties, but keep your mind strong and remember Krishna. Very good. Fei Chang Hao. Fei Chang Hao. Gan Xin in the Fu. Woman Jufu Ni. Jufu Ni Yong Yun Bu Hui Wang Ji Krishna. Shishya Jambavati Maharaji. Jai. Jambavati Maharaji ki jai. Hare Krishna. Do Bao Zhong. Are you empty? I am. Go on, Jisha. Some more empty. Yeah. Now, in the small devotee community, they think that the devotee of Papa has no any use, only the devotee of the Guru can return to the next world, right? Huh? Only. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. There is a in a few devotee circles. They believe that there is no use to follow Shri Prabhupada. Only following one's own guru can go back to spiritual world. Is that right? No, this is very wrong. This is very wrong. I don't know who's who's making up this kind of thinking. This is totally wrong, and it's not approved, not authorized. This is wrong. I don't know who's making up this kind of thinking. 
出来的，这是完全彻底的错错误的，没没有经过授权的。The whole purpose of taking initiation and accepting a spiritual master is to connect us more closely to Prabhupada. 得到林念老师的启迪，这个整个的目的就是为了让我们跟圣帕巴德更紧密的联系在一起。We need to hear. We read Prabhupada's books every day in in the in the temple when we study Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita. We're using Prabhupada's books. 我们聆我们在庙宇当中聆听。If you study Bhakti Shastri course, we use all Prabhupada's books. Bhakti Shastri, Bhakti Vaibhav, we all study Prabhupada's books. We need to hear about Srila Prabhupada, and we need to know about his life and all the examples, all the teaching he gave. So we don't say only Diksha Guru. We say you need also Shiksha Guru. The instructing guru is very important. Also, not only the diksha, the shiksha, the instructions are very, very important. Initiation is also important. We don't say it's not important. It is important, but you also need to get instruction from others. We say initiation is also important, but you also need to get instruction from others. Right. With, there are three authorities. There is the sadhus, meaning the saintly deities. There is the scriptures, and there are the spiritual teachers. So they're all saying the same thing. That's how we know who's a bona fide teacher and how the teachings are proper. We have to check with the scriptures and the words of other holy teachers. If we just follow only the Diksha Guru, we may be cheated. And we had cases before in our movement. We had cases before. People were blind, blindly following their Guru. And when their Guru got in Maya and fell down, and he left Krishna consciousness, they also left. And they went, they said, I'm going with my Guru. So that's why it's very dangerous just to follow only Diksha Guru. Thus, 
We need to also have connection with Prabhupada, you need to know Prabhupada's teachings, you need to read the scriptures. Okay, Shai Gawanti. Hmm? Inza. Inza. Oh. Yogi Mata. Yogi Mata, yeah. Yes, definitely, we bless you. May you have a nice yoga teachings and distribute a lot of prasadam. Make them good devotees. I was able to see one of the films which you made about cooking demonstration, making halava. Very nice, very well done. So, make many more of those kind of films and become famous as a cook and get more people, get people attracted to eat prasada. Yes. This is Yoga Maya covers up Krishna to reveal him as the child of Mother Yashoda. <laughs> Yoga Maya makes the pastime, she, by her potency, she allows Krishna to enjoy more loving dealings with his devotees. Okay, Shai Gawanti. Uh, she continued to ask, uh, Yes, right. Devaki has spontaneous love. She's and and mother uh, rather mother Yashoda has spontaneous love, and Devaki her love is more according to the. Vaidhi Bhakti, the rules and regulations. Now we learn Vasudev and Devaki they did great austerities in order to get Krishna as their child. 
就是 Vasudeva 和 Devaki 为了得到 Krishna 作为自己的孩子，他们进行了很多的苦行。But the mother Yashoda, she didn't do austerity. She, she is naturally Krishna's mother. Mother Yashoda, she enjoys that loving relationship with Krishna, to be Krishna's parent. So when Krishna comes, Mother Yashoda comes as her, his mother. Mother Yashoda, she got to enjoy Krishna's childhood pastimes. But Devaki didn't get to see Krishna's childhood pastimes. Now, Devaki, she was in the prison. She only saw the child at birth. And then the child was taken by Vasudev and put in the home of Mother Yashoda. So Mother Yashoda, she brought up Krishna and she enjoys all the childhood pastimes. But Devaki didn't get to see any of these things. Later on, Krishna killed Kamsa, and then he could free Vasudev and Devaki from the prison of Kamsa. Okay, any other? How you went, Ima? Well, it could be either. It could be either. It doesn't have to be. It could be your initiating guru. It could also be your instructing guru. But generally, the system, somebody is instructing guru, that they should encourage the faith in the initiating guru. And the, the, the instructing guru shouldn't teach anything different from the initiating guru. They, the same thing. They want you to develop love of Krishna. But somehow you may have taken initiation and maybe the initiating guru leaves the body and then you're, you take shelter of someone, you take instruction, someone else becomes the instructing guru and so he takes you back to Godhead. Yeah, it's possible. Okay. When when did you get out? Okay. Okay. So, what? Okay. 
So thank all the devotees, Roman Fitch and Ganshia Sayu de Fengshenza, Ling Ting, Ganshia Guru Mani, Give Woman Jing Tai de Fan Yi, Ganshia Lila Shakti, Jujur, Ganshia Sati, Ganshia Sayu de Fengshenza, Jufu Niman, Damodar Yu Kwaila. Hello, <laughs> 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Bo Hare Bo